Well, we certainly can learn a lot by looking closer at the COVID-19 data. Finding trends that give context to what the infection really looks like in our communities right now. Tonight, the focus team is continuing to check on the daily case numbers. Here's investigative reporter Shay McAllister. Shay. Well, Doug, tonight we're going to spend some time digging into the infection rates for Kentucky and Indiana, looking at how the numbers are growing and what we can make from that. So first, let me explain exactly what you're looking at. This chart maps out the last two months of the coronavirus cases reported each day in Indiana. Individual bars represent one day's worth of new cases. So that last bar on the far right of your screen is what Indiana reported today, 617 new cases. You can see it appears a bit elevated compared to the five days before. But here's what I want you to think about. Indiana continues to increase testing dramatically every day, actually surpassing 160,000 tests just this week, a massive increase from the roughly 55,000 they hit that they had administered right around this time last month. Now let's check in with Kentucky's numbers. We updated this just a few minutes ago with the latest numbers from Governor Andy Bashir, and the big picture is yes, we've started to plateau this week, though you can see the numbers are still very much in flux. After five days on the decline, starting at the end of last week and then through the weekend, we started to creep back up and then today, good news, you can see that last bar on the far right is down. And remember that big spike you see is actually from last week when the state reported more than 300 new cases at the Green River Correctional Facility. And I want to end with some good news from the numbers in Kentucky today. Deaths are down in the Commonwealth. The governor reported two new deaths today. That's actually the lowest number Kentucky has reported since April 1st, which Doug, I think we can take as a good sign. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister. Most certainly. Thank you very much, Shay.